Hey guys, it's Jan. Welcome back to my channel. So, I want to start off with saying I'm hoping that you can hear me. I'm really hoping that you can hear me. I don't know what happened in the last couple of videos. I obviously didn't check my sound. I'm really sorry about that. But, um, you know, that's just Jan for you because Jan doesn't check these things. So, I checked today. It looks like everything's up and where it should be. So, the first comment should just let me know that right away. Um, anyway, because when I play back, it sounds like it's fine, so that's why I uploaded them. Anyway, I'm doing two reviews today. Two reviews on two products that I've been using exclusively for the past week and a half or so, maybe close to two weeks now, as long as I've had them. And they are the Claudio Riaz Highlighter that I got from AllCosmeticsWholesale.com and the Clay de po Concealer that I got from Nordstrom. So let's start with the Clay de po. Clay de po. what can I say? Um, not worth the $70. I'm going to just say that right off the bat, I think that there are better concealers that are far cheaper. I think this product should be priced around $50, to be very honest with you. Um, it's certainly not worth the $70 that I can see right now. So I know I'm coming off, you know, right out of the gates, really being harsh about Clay de po, but I'll tell you what. Um, my skin is moisture enriched before I put on anything in terms of foundation or concealer or even my corrector. And I'm finding this to be hard to work with because it seems to be very dry and it seems to not be so much thick, but um, just harder to work with than any other concealer that I have. And I have several others. I have high-end concealers. I don't really have any drugstore concealers, which might be, you know, my problem too. Maybe I need to check out a drugstore concealer. I don't know. But, you know, being a makeup artist and being a former makeup artist that used to do it for a living... It was well within my interest, my best interest, to check it out. And um, I put it off and put it off because I had so much concealer and everything else that I have. But, you know, if I'm going to be well-versed and have a channel, then I really needed to check this out, especially someone who wants to start doing a little bit more of the reviews. So I purchased it. Very excited to try it. But it's not the first time a high-end product that's getting a lot of hype has made me say, Really? Um, so yeah, that's what I have to say about it. It's, it's very good. Don't get me wrong. If you have it and you love it, then great for you. But I happen to feel that for me anyway, unless, unless I happen to get a particularly dry one, I don't know how old this is. This could have been sitting around for a year. It could have started to dry up a little bit. I don't know. Um, and I guess I'll never know because I'm not going to run out to repurchase another one. Um, let me know your thoughts if you have clay de po, but I find this a little bit more drying. Um, and how I put my clay de po or any of my concealers on um, is, well, particularly something in a tube like this, I'll take it with my finger and then I'll tap it under my eyes. And um, I find that most blend seamlessly into my foundation because it's like one of the last things I do. Um, and most set well with any kind of powder I put on my face, which is not every day. But if I do use a powder, I use something like my Guerlain Meteorites or my Ben Knight um, Banana Powder. I use something very light, very sheer. I don't find that I need a lot of powder. I don't have oily skin. And I prefer that dewy, kind of glowy kind of look anyway. And putting a lot of powder on top of everything I've done is just going to defeat the purpose. But I find that this accentuates um, fine lines under my eyes. I find that I do have to work it in just a little bit more. Not much more than my NARS or anything else that I have. But I just find, I think, more annoyingly is that it will accentuate some fine lines. Um, it doesn't seem to transfer my um, lash, you know, my lower lash mascara at all. It seems to work perfectly. The brightening effect is fantastic. Um, I got the color Ivory. And it couldn't be any more than what I want in terms of that. I love to do the V, you know, concealer trick. And um, it gives me exactly what I want. I just find that with, um, with it being a little bit more of a drier formulation and with accentuating some fine lines, it's not my holy grail product. But then you know how I am about whether or not something's holy grail. I'm very, very picky. I'm a very picky person to begin with. And... Um, true to form, you know, this is not living up to the $70 expectation that I had of it when I paid for it, and $70 plus, you know, more. Um, but anyway, so if you love it, God bless, that's great. For me, I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I'm not going to chuck it. I'm going to keep using it. Um, I just wish it came out to be a little bit more of a creamier formulation. I hear the Hourglass is fantastic. Um, 
I might try that, but I have enough concealer right now. I'm not running out unless I can get a deal on the hourglass somewhere. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, let me give you size um, so you can compare to the price. It's 0.17 ounces, so it's 5 grams. I did get this at Nordstrom. It did cost me $70. And I believe it's best of a lore beauty beauty winner, um, which all of this intrigued me. The high price intrigued me. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when something's higher price, I'm like, well, you know, I don't want to fall into that idea of uh, a way of thinking that because it's expensive, it's gotta be better. That's not necessarily true, and which is what I'm kind of figuring out with this. So you guys can bash me over the head all you want. This is just my personal opinion, as all my reviews are, that right now so far, this is just really very good. It's not the end of the world. I cannot recommend that you run out and buy this. That's all I'm saying. So um, what else can I say about this stuff before I sign off on egg? I'm in the color ivory. Um, you know, I use it like this. I put it, my finger on it and I tap, like I said. I, really not much more to add than that. You know, there's really great concealers um, at different price points. So this is Clay de Poe and you know, those are my thoughts on it. Okay, so Claudia Rias highlighter. This I got from allcosmeticswholesale.com and um, at first I initially likened this to NARS Copacabana, the multiple. Nothing like it at all. I don't know if my lighting is going to do me justice here. This is the NARS, however messy it is, Copacabana. It's like the Laura Mercier Illuminator. It really is like just a, a more of a creamy, solid form of that, uh, color-wise and, at least for me, um, finished result. Claudia Riaz is nothing like that. It's definitely more silvery white, and at first this might put you off, but... Um, it's it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. And I'm really even more intrigued to check out the Claudia Riaz line further. I definitely want to check out their brushes, which is I always heard were very good. They're very pricey. I don't know if they're on the order of Suku brushes, which are the brushes that I plan on purchasing um, in person again when I go back to um, Selfridges in London. I don't feel I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. Last I heard they only sold them there. I don't think you can find them anywhere online. If not, it might be from direct from Suku, but I don't remember. Um, but I'd like to purchase them in person. Um, those are Suku brushes. But anyway, I'm, I will definitely check out the Claudia Riaz line further. Let me get into this in a second. Um, Packaging-wise, though, it's horrible. The packaging is just absolutely horrible. It really is. Look, the name is wearing off. It is this stiff cardboard. I don't know why they would... How long do they expect this to last? This will last me a very, very long time. Um, a little goes a long way with this. I absolutely love it. Uh, Color-wise, it's um, just like I said, it's a silvery sheen. A little goes a long way. I'm going to give this a heavy swatch. And um, I just find that you could just see right there. It is just, it's it's everything I want in highlight, but in a nice, lighter kind of form. I know I'm probably making myself look like an oil slick right now. Um, but it's everything I want in highlight in this kind of cream kind of form. Cream, solid kind of form. Um, and I think that has everything to do with the ingredients. The ingredients, the first one is castor oil. Now, I don't know what your skin is sensitive to, but you'd have to read the ingredients. I know the ingredients include beeswax, something called candelia wax. Um, then they have some not-so-natural products in it. It's not a natural product by any means. But um, it's just a brilliant product, though. It works beautifully. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite highlighter right now. This, I like I said, I got this from ACW.com. Um, I have 0 0.1 ounces, uh, 2 0.84 grams, and this cost me approximately 30 to 35 dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Well worth. And I looked at it, and I saw the size. And I was like, 30 dollars for that? You know, I don't know how deep the product went into here. It goes. It looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Um, I'd say this is about a half inch thick. Um, I can't say enough about the product itself. The packaging, Claudia Riaz people, change your game when it comes to the packaging. It's just absolutely horrible. Really bad. Um, surprisingly, because like I said, I think the brushes are probably going to be very, very good should I purchase any of those. But um, what else can I tell you about this? You know, I'm a highlighter fiend. I'm a concealer fiend, too. I need the concealer. But I'm a highlighter fiend. There's never a day that 
that goes by when I do my makeup that I don't put on a highlight. I just love it. If you guys remember Jennifer Lopez on American Idol, she always had that little highlighted look right here. I loved it. I thought it was, you know, it didn't to me look oily, but I, you know, I, I liked her makeup. So that I was always intrigued by that kind of look. And I've always taken my highlighters that I have here, and I have quite a few, and tried to achieve that little dot of highlight on the cheeks there. And I'm sure I achieved it, but this really gives me what I think is a nice coverage, a sheen look. It doesn't look cakey at all because it's cream formulation. It's just brilliant product. So this I'm going to rave about, Claudia Riaz, but packaging I'm not going to rave about. So that is the very sad little packaging. Um, Clay to Post packaging is beautiful. It's got a nice little um, blue, midnight blue kind of little capuchon, is that the word capuchon? Kind of top. Um, did I tell you the amount of product in this? I might have, I don't recall. 5 grams, 0.17 ounces, $70, $30, $35, completely different products. I think we need both anyway, to tell you the truth, whatever brand you get. I think we always need a highlight, we always need a concealer. These are just my two of choice lately. Um, I'm not giving up on this. I just, um, and I have it on, but you really can't tell probably. But, um, you know, I just, like I said, I had higher expectations, but then I am a little bit more of a harder to please person when it comes to makeup. Some people would say everything, but when it comes to makeup, definitely. So those are my two reviews. I hope you found these helpful. I hope they helped you in any way, especially if you were on the fence with the clay de peau. I know a lot of people are. I bit the bullet because I am, you know, um, a makeup hoarder. I do still collect makeup even though I still don't do it anymore in terms of, you know, professional wise, but I still will always want to be in the loop and I read a lot of beauty blogs and I found this to be very, very intriguing. So I bit the bullet and I'm glad I did. It's not a waste for me in terms of money, really. I mean, because it would always be in the back of my head, try the clay to pot, try the clay to pot. So I did. I tried it. And, um, I don't know, you know, maybe I just got a really dry clay to pot. I have no idea. But anyways, I wanted to bring these two products to your attention, give you my thoughts on these. Again, these are just personal opinions, but leave me any thoughts that you may have if you try these products, and I will see you in my next video, which is probably going to come up very, very shortly, depending on how long this uploads, because I still have my Bath & Body Works products I need to show you, which was the fall sale, which is now over, and I'd like to use my candles. And I also got my order from Sephora, my VIB order, so I want to get into that stuff and not have like three and four videos coming your way, you know, five times a week, whatever. So I will see you guys very, very soon. Everyone have a great night and I'll talk to you then. Bye.